Hello everyone. Uh, in today's session, we are going to discuss about freehand sketch. So, uh, freehand sketch is the one of the easiest way to draw all kind of uh, mechanical components. So, this freehand sketch is used for students design project as well as uh, the students visualization into the object. Okay, a student can easily visualize into the object and uh, he could be able to draw the uh, visualized diagram of an any kind of design. Okay, so let's move. Well, uh, this is the problem number one. So here it clearly shows you how to draw the uh, front view, right? So we have the dotted lines. So which, uh, this have clearly indicates these are the front view section. So first I am going to draw the front view section. Okay, so first I am going to draw the front view section that is the rectangle and I am having the quadrilateral. Okay, so we have the quadrilateral in the upper side. Right. Okay, so rectangle and a quadrilateral has been drawn here. Right, and uh, when you see here, okay, so we have the hollow region and this hollow region has been shown as hidden lines and it has been already given in the diagram itself with a depth of 150 mm. Okay, so we can also clearly indicate the hidden lines and we are showing that the depth is 150 mm. Right, so after making it, uh, we are going to going for top view now. So we can extend these lines and we are clearly telling that what is the top view. Right, so we have the square edges and we are just extending all the lines and make it in a parallel way. Okay, so after that, we have the top view now. So when you visualize at the top, we have this square block and then we have the another square block and uh, we have the two squares that has to be intersected in the same direction and we have the quadrilateral in the end. Okay, so uh, we have these extensional lines and we are drawing this first square block. We are drawing this first square block. Okay, and then uh, we are drawing this uh, second square block. So this second square block is looking small. Right, and we have the uh, greater uh, rectangular surface. Okay, in the outer side, greater rectangular surface on the outer side. Right, so this is our top view and it clearly indicates we have the two squares. So first square and then second square, which has been easily drawn and we have the extensional lines from this hollow, hollow block, from this hollow circular block and this has been extended and you are clearly drawing the circle here at the center. Right, so this is the clear representation of the top view, and this hollow circle is said to be extended of 150 mm depth, and clearly you have to mention all the dimensions at the end. Right, so finally you have to mention all the overall dimensions. So the overall dimensions, this is 600. Right, and we have the square block distance. That square block distance, upper square block distance, is about 225. Right, and then uh, the whole diameter. So the whole diameter is indicated like this. So the whole diameter is 100. And the depth is, we have to mention depth as 150. Right, and uh, yes, uh, we have the overall uh, length base, uh, 600 overall length of the specimen. And this length, obviously, we need to mention this length that is 300 mm. Right, so we have a 300 mm rectangle, and in that uh, we have the uh, uh, trapezoidal shape structure or trustrum like structure, and we have the upper side square and we have the lower side square. Okay, so all things has been completed now, and uh, this is your top view. And you have to mention the dimensions for the front view also as well. So this overall length is 600, right, and the overall height is 450 and this depth is uh, 150 right? and 
this diameter is 100 and this square distance is 225 right so likewise we have to mention all the dimensions properly and this depth is 225 right so after then you have to plot the right hand side view so how will you make the right hand side view extend all the lines from all the edges and also the hollow regions right and after then you are making the right hand side view right so when you are uh, going for a right hand side view so you will be clearly viewing this 300 dimensions of rectangle so you are clearly drawing the 300 mm of rectangle and a 225 okay 300 and 225 for the right hand side view and the lowest set rectangle has been completed okay so when you look in that side okay it seems to be like as an trapezium okay so it seems to like to be as an trapezium and uh, we can plot like this yes it was clearly plot like this and we have the same extensional line that is we have the hollow origin and this hollow origin has been uh, drawn in hidden lines that is in dashed lines and you are clearly indicating uh, the dimensions after it. So th this depth is 150 and this diameter is 100. Right? And you know what the overall height is 450 and you can also mention the overall height is 450. Right? And you have to mention all the dimensions uh, in your right hand side view. So this is your right hand side view okay so this is your front view and this is your top view so in this way you have to clearly draw the front view top view and then side view through freehand sketch so in this operation you are only checking about the uh, quadrilaterals squares rectangles so what are the surfaces which are clearly visible you are drawing through the front view top view and then side view right i think uh, it has been clearly understood by you so next we are going for next problem right <clears throat> so in this problem they didn't give where front view is exactly drawn okay so we can take it from either this direction or from this direction you can make a front view in either of these direction so in which direction you are going to take the front view that is the first ultimate thing right so we have to choose the front view direction either in this side or this side so here i am going to make the front view in this direction only right why because is that uh, in previous problem we have the case like this we have the front view and we have the top view right and you are seeing from the top we will be able to reach out what are the top view rectangles and square surfaces which are visible and then uh, we are going to make the either right hand side view or left hand side view so i am going to have the right hand side view right so when i am going to make this okay uh, what is the orthographic projection uh, we really obtained right so let us plot here reference line first and then we are going to draw the front view so the front view the highlighted components are so what are the components highlighted for you so here this first rectangle and then the second rectangle right and then the quadrilateral here right and only these three things these three shapes are visible right so we can make it here the same shapes has been drawn here so the first rectangle right and then we have the second rectangle it was slightly sloped and you are drawing this right and we have the third one that is the quadrilateral so this quadrilateral has been drawn like this right so one two three so these three shapes has been drawn and this is your front view <coughs> right and in the same way you are going to draw for top view so now for top view what are the rectangles are visible so the first rectangle is visible and then we have the second shape 
so these things are visible right so first rectangle and then we have the smaller quadrilateral and then we have the second quadrilateral and then we have the third quadrilateral so we are going to complete the uh, top view now so we need the projections for the top view so let me make the projections here simple so draw the projection lines from each edges which has been given in the figure right and we can make it right so after drawing all the projection lines and here we have the internal edge that is also been drawn so after then we will be going to draw this square shape so we have the uh, rectangular shape that is in the top view middle we have the rectangular shape so first draw the rectangular shape right and from then uh, we have the extensional line and we are drawing this area right so when you're drawing this area we will be finally having the shape as like this so we have the quadrilateral then and this uh, quadrilateral has been completely merged with this outer edge and this outer edge will be extended like this right and also we have this extensional quadrilateral has been extended here right and we have to complete this quadrilateral right so after then you are extending this, this this shape and you are closing this shape right so finally we have the central rectangle and then we have the top view that is we have the smaller quadrilateral and then a larger quadrilateral and again the smaller quadrilateral and you are finishing the starting line right so this way you have to draw the top view so finally we had the top view and there is no hollow parts or hollow regions so there is no rotor and we have these extensional lines so this will be viewed as a rectangle so we have to draw this in a rectangle also right because uh, this is your slider okay so this is the slope slider so this slope slider will be visualized as a rectangle here a small rectangle here right and that is as it be drawn exactly here right so the extension lines that we have these extension lines so that, that is we have the inner tri uh, inner rectangle and then the slider rectangle all things has been drawn here and we have the outermost uh, uh, quadrilateral block and this outermost quadrilateral block is also been drawn here so this is your front view and this is your top view and finally we are going to make the right hand side view so for right hand side view simply make the extension of projection line here make all the projection lines here right and afterwards uh, we have to draw the right hand side view component right so when we view from this right hand side we are seeing this rectangle right so 10 by 20 that rectangle is visible and you are drawing the 10 by 20 rectangle here right so this 10 by 20 rectangle has been drawn here and then we have the overall length okay so the overall length is a larger rectangle and you are drawing the larger, larger rectangle you are drawing the larger rectangle right so afterwards you can make it here right so we have the uh, two rectangles only two rectangles has been visible from the right hand side and we have the innermost uh, that is uh, we have the other side faces so in this other side faces okay uh, we, we have the hidden region of this uh, larger quadrilateral right so this larger quadrilateral is having the size of 18 and we can also uh, surely place this in hidden lines we can place it in uh, hidden lines <clears throat> because from the right hand side view we have the another side that has been extended and that is another side extended will not be visualized why because it's only the right hand side view has been visible and this side is, can be visible only through left hand side view right and we can make it 
go dot alliance. Okay, so we have the larger side dot alliance and then shorter side dot alliance. So we can also make the shorter side dot alliance and the larger side dot alliance. Okay, right. So this is your right hand side view. Right. Finally, mark all the dimensions here. Right. You have to mention all the dimensions. So this side is twenty, and uh, this side is ten. Right. And then we have the height. It has twenty. Right. And we have fifteen. And the same fifteen here. And this side is twenty. Right. So we have to mention all the things. And then uh, we have the angle. Angle as fifteen degree. And we can also mention the angle as fifteen uh, degree here. 15 degree, right? And then this distance is 15, right? And then this distance is 18, right? And this distance is 21, right? And uh, yeah, so the distance between from this quadrilateral side to the normal side, uh, we have the distance as 20. So likewise, uh, you have to mention all the dimensions properly after completing this diagram. Right, so it's very simple and easy to draw the ray and sketch. And the main important thing is you have to do all these things in two edge pencil. Right, you have to do all the things in two edge pencils. And uh, when you are going to mark or show the hidden lines, you have to uh, make it in a dotted lines, and uh, that is the dashed lines. So these dashed lines should be uh, coming wherever the points are hidden. Right, so we will be uh, using these uh, indications properly, and you have to show it properly. Right, so uh, the, so this is your uh, front view, top view, and the side view for this given problem. Yes, uh, next we are going to discuss about problem number three. So here we have the front view direction like this, right, and we are going to draw the front view as simple. So Draw a XY reference line and we can make the rectangular shape. So, how many rectangular shapes are there? So, there are only two rectangular shapes. So, first one and then second one. Right? So, the second rectangle in the middle. So, I have to draw the first rectangle and then the second rectangle that is the slider rectangle. Right? And after then, uh, we have to draw the projection lines. We have to draw the projection lines from all the edges, and we have to clearly draw the top view now. Right? So, when you are weaving from the top, we have this end that is, uh, we have the top view that is 40 20. This rectangle has been drawn. So, this rectangle has been clearly drawn 40 20. So after drawing 40, 20, okay, we have the another section that is we have this slanting height. So this slanting height from this 40 mm to this line that is also being extended. So this is your slanting line. So when you see at the top, you will be having the 40, 20, and then this slanting height will be look like a smaller rectangle, right? So we had drawn the middle portion now. And we are going to complete the I section shape. So finally, we have the I section. So this is your I section. So in the area where we have the I section, right? So this I section has been made here. So just you are now making the extension line from the left hand side and the right hand side. And here we have the square section. So the square section is 30 by 30. And here this length is set to be 45 mm length, and then we are making it in uh, 30 mm depth, and then another 30 mm has been drawn. So this 30 mm side has been drawn, right? So this 30 mm side has been drawn, and we will be again closing this. We will be again closing this, right? And finally we are having this side. So here. Uh, we have the extension side to up to 50 mm. So we are just making the extension to 50 mm. 
right and then uh, after making this into 50 mm right and again we have to extend this line to 30 mm and then again making a 30 mm and then close this right in the same way we have to draw the eye section on the other side right and we have completed the top view right finally we have completed the top view and this is the front view and now we are looking into the holes right so we have the dia of 20 mm hole and it is hollow all these hollow regions are said to be hidden so initially we have the hollow views of a dia 20 mm that has been drawn in different view and the same hollow view will be followed for the top view also so when you make the top view we have the hollow section here and this hollow section will be viewed in the top view front line as the as like this right and uh, the same hollow view can be drawn for side view <coughs> right so if i am making the side view in this direction so this is said to be called as an right hand side view so we have front view in this direction and this is your right hand side view so when you make a right hand side view the drawing should be coming on the left right and we are drawing all the extensional lines all the projection lines and even we can also extend the hollow lines in order to clearly indicate the hollow circle right and after extending these lines okay so when you look at this so in right hand side view you will be seeing this region that is one square and the other square right and we have the quadrilateral right and then we have the hollow circle right so we will be drawing the rectangle first so total we have 30 50 30 okay so this 30 50 30 will be drawn here like this 30 50 30 has been drawn here and then uh, we have the extensional line okay and we have to make the quadrilateral clear right so this length is 40 so from this make the slanting rectangle and uh, this has been drawn in right hand side view right and we have the circle so this circle area is 20 so we have the extension line from different view and we are drawing the circle of 20 right and uh, if you see is there any regions to draw in the right hand side view i think we almost finished the right hand side view also so it's very simple to draw the uh, front view top view under side view for any kind of mechanical component through this uh, front view top view and the right hand side view to orthographic projection and we can make it out with the help of freehand sketch so that's the real advantage of making the freehand sketch and it has been clearly viewed right and finally after completing the diagram we have to show the dimensions so we have to mark the dimensions finally uh, we have different view so this total length is 110 and then 110 and then uh, the depth is 30 yeah, 30 and then the diameter is 20 so this is 20 and then uh, we have the total height of the quadrilateral section is 80 right so in the same way you have to mention so the total height is 110 right and this is set to be 30 and this is 30 and this is 50 right and uh, the hollow region is 20 right and uh, this region that this distance is 40 right you have to clearly indicate okay through free and sketch or, can, or you can also draw the extension lines and you can show it so this is 40 and this is 20 so like that's we can indicate all the dimensions and uh, after this uh, we have the tutorials it will be over and uh, you can practice many sums which has been given in the sum assignments and you can practice it and uh, uh, if there are any doubts so you can uh, contact me through whatsapp and uh, i can clear your doubts yes uh, thank you students thank you